How's it going, guys? Welcome back. It's Keith. Um, yeah, just um, uh, entry and a couple of ads that I got last week. Editions. I got them last week. I put them away. I know I can't find a couple of the small figure kits of so many of them, but I got the seven pin up master box, the seven one thirty fifth scale pin up female models to go with the one thirty fifth scale um bikes and cars or whatever. So I got that and something else that I can't find. Another figure kit. I actually can't remember which one there was of so many of them. But um yeah I just found the the bigger ones that I left like a hand reach I have here now so um first of all this is me big I got that way before last week I got that a couple of weeks back so that's just my entry into Jeff's big rig group build this year um this is a very popular truck over the over with you guys a lot of you have probably already built this but this is a fairly new kit to me I've never um had that I hadn't got a chance to ever get it it came in to me local as it does once in a blue moon to get a few USA kits in and the minute I see them I dive on them no matter what the year and that just happened to be one of them so yeah I got that weeks ago so uh, that's me entry into Jeff's big rig group build this year Um, secondly Another edition that I got only recently you now last week. I had these editions from last week, like the Master Box at uh, 125th Pin Up Girls that I just said. That kit and um, another couple of figure kits, and I can't even remember which ones there is of so many different ones there. But um, I'll start with the car. It's a S13 Sylvia with the Art Force Sylvia um, body kit on it and wheels. Um, S13 Sylvia, shall I say, the body kit and uh, wheels, the Art Force Sil, Sil 80. The, uh, the Sil 80 is another name for an S13 over in Japan but this is the Sylvia itself S13 um, it's basically the way it is on the box it's a nice kit nice set of wheels I thought they would have given a spare set of wheels but you only get the one set they actually look like CR coils and CR coils are very expensive wheels like you know they go for nearly 10 grand or something brand new one unopened in the box that a discontinued alloy wheel they, they, they look very close to them um, second hand buying a set of CR coils is um, you'd have to you now in bad condition they'd get easily like 3 grand to them over in the US so yeah that's just thought I'd um, mention that since that I very like them wheels, that's what they remind me of. Anyway, I got another container, but this time it's from Trumpeter, and it's a lot longer the box, and it's actually heavier too. And the one from Italy is only half the size. The box is only half the size, and it's not as heavy. So, um... And it is a 20 foot container too on the Adelardi one. But this is a trumpeter one, so um, maybe the plastic, the, the story might be a lot better than what the Adelardi or the Adelardi, whatever way you pronounce it. Um, it's probably um, a lot stronger and that's why it's heavier. So, um, yeah, they're going to be getting used for one for the back of a truck turn her into a cabin like a security box and um like that they live out of and uh the other one's gonna be like 
an office type thing as well for the diorama. But um, yeah, I got that one as well. And the last one that I can remember and find from last week, I got another one of these. And I got one of these when I only started my channel. If you go back on my channel, you'll probably see an unboxing of it. I did do a grey. It's up there now, it's full of dust. I wouldn't mind, I only dusted that off about a week and a Two weeks ago, I was talking to Seamus, I only dusted it off a couple of them. I dusted off a Mercedes SLS with the gold wings on it. Uh, the AMG Revell one, because he was at the getting into his stash, and I showed him that I built one when I only started uh, modelling. And he liked it, it wasn't the, like, it's not something to write home about, like, it was one of my first few cars to be built when I just got into the building. So um, I just sent Seamus a picture of it that day just to show him what it built up like because the doors opened up and all on it. So um, yeah, he said it looked good. And anyway, but I dusted off. Seamus, if you're watching this, that would have been about, about two weeks ago. I dusted off everything and because um, there's a lot of work going on around their building what they're doing is taking away all taking all the um the apartment block has been letting dampness into it. So they've chiseled away all the outside brick and cement and whatever else plaster and slate to the foundation, get right down to the foundation and stuff and um they've uh, started to redo it and installate it more now to fix it all because they're about 20 probably about 20 years old now these apartments so they went up quick that we live in it's a very big apartment as an outlook like, of six dogs they're able to run around and they all have room on their own every time i'm in here which is all day there's always one or two in with me so Every hour I change the mouse so they all get to spend time with me in the day. You have that little dog room or else they're in a spare bedroom. Like one does be with me daughter, playing with me daughter. That's the big fella. Um, she won't go out to bed without him sleeping at the end of our bed or sleeping on his bed on the floor beside her. Because that's what he does. If it's too warm, he gets up off our bed at the end. At, he sits on the end of our bed and goes to sleep. If it's too warm, you'll get up off our bed while she's asleep and get down onto his own bed on the floor. But if she wakes up and hears or feels that he's not in the bed, she'll call him up onto the bed. <laughs> she's so used to having him there, you know. But then I have um, a dog room which has dog cage, extra large dog cages that are locked two in. But they're locked two of them in overnight. Let them go out to the toilet till midnight, like out to the toilet at midnight the last time, and then um, I get up every morning about seven, eight o'clock, let them out, then go to the toilet. So they're all house trained, and anyway, so the only thing is keeping on top of all the hair and dust that they spread around the place. It's a, it's a pain. I don't know a lot of you are the same, which is an animal, just know how it is. There's an old lot of you have cats and dogs and ferrets. Jeff, <laughs> they're all cool animals and anyway, but uh, Mike has three dogs I think, um, Seamus has a couple of cats, uh, Charlie Mac has a couple of cats, I know Jeff Tree has a, I think it's a French Bulldog or a, you probably, you'll probably give me a of course, and if I get it wrong, so I'm, I'm assuming he's a French bulldog. He's not a pug. I don't think he's a pug. I don't even know that. I know they have a similar looking face, but I'd say he's a French bulldog. Small little bulldog. And then a few of these guys have other animals that I know of, but um, I can't think he is off the top of the head. So, yeah, shout out to everybody anyway. And these are animals. Hope you're all staying safe and doing his around thing. Anyway, yeah, the GT2 Porsche for the car that comes with basic underneath um, engine detail is all it comes with. 
it's not like the 959 where you can leave the the trunk which is the hood on um glued where you can lift it on and off and you can see the top of the engine done up i'm sure this engine's not or this car is not like that but as you know with a lot of these Porsches i have the wangan a uh, japanese porsche i have the revel new porsche the g body porsche i have the uh, the grey one like i've um this of the i think of the other tamiya one the same one as the one i sent them yeah, Russell, me and Russell done a trade and he, he wanted a Porsche so we grabbed him a Porsche that he liked that I remember the one of them bronze one of them Russell had sent me a, a, a kit that I had been trying to get for so long which was a Honda Civic with an engine in it and, it, and I'm dying to build it it's just I want to I haven't mastered the 3D printer or the, the casting making moulds successfully even though i've bought plenty of mold stuff i even have a drop left in that that, that was a whole year or something was it? how much was it in that but that's at the end of the bottle as you can see i'd get a small engine or something or the rest of that and i have the self um reusable stuff but i never bought the stuff that um unsticks the resin from it without peeling the the uh, rubber mold the reusable rubber mold bits of that off stuck to it you have to wash it off the resin cast but um yeah i want to master the mold and all the engine pieces for cars because i was thinking of putting the g body porsche engine into the wangan blackboard porsche kit that i have and if I do get to copy it, like, um, get a good mould of it, I could uh, also make one for this. I suppose you could also make one for the, the Beetle and take one from the, the uh, get a new, t another Tamiya Beetle and the same <laughs> engines only, boxer engines. But anyway, yeah, I have a few Porsches now, I think I'll stop buying Porsches. I think I'll stop buying a few um, kits to be honest. I know I said this a couple of videos back and I still got more in. But um, I have got a few more that are on the way. But they're not necessarily on the way. They're ordered in. Which is the the one that um, our good friend. Um, see so many of his guys. I can't always just remember these off the top of my head. Uh, hang on, I get a reminder sometimes when I look around at these little shop cards. Where are they? There you are. Uh, Jay Hart Model Works, hell oh, Justin. Sorry Justin for taking so long. Jay Hart Model Works, Justin built, the, is building or built actually, the Rally Alpine to me, uh, Renault. Um, I think it's been reissued because it's only had to come on back out over here. So it is ordered in. I have that ordered in and I'm trying to get that um, post-apocalyptic 132nd scale Lamborghini, uh, the Selena thing. The Selena something. Is it now the post-apocalyptic uh, Lamborghini with the spikes and all coming out and you get the female driver she can wear the helm or she can't depends on what you want her to do like well she's in the car i'll stand beside the car but it'd be good for part of the diorama you know to make it look like a, a what would you call it not apocalypse from years ago a apocalypse from after the millennium basically you know being that there's a Lamborghini as a post-apocalyptic car. But anyway, I'm rambling on. This is my big rig route build entry, Jeff. Just needed to get that in there. Um, I have 
put just uploaded a video of me update first update on the plane the plane i'm actually flying through the plane everything fits in that kit great of the p51d mustang everything fits great so far so and I've, I've actually mocked up nearly everything before i start gluing pieces together cleaned it all off with a good sh brand new sharpie uh, blade that i bought there a few weeks back good rubber handled one great quality better than all them with a little um, cheap uh, sharpie knives so um yeah i've been using that a lot lately it's very good still the first blade on it um yeah so i will will be starting a few things soon i will be finishing all the bills that you have seen the last few bit, uh, videos and then um, yeah i just had to get the video out there that so jeff knows i'm in this year's i know my first year joining was last year and it was a 130 second scale high no range or kit that was an expensive kit and it was bought for me by my partner for christmas and um yeah everything went good until the dogs knocked it down last year and broke it all into pieces i had to try piece it all back together again but uh, luckily i did i ended up getting it all back together and had the foil on it so but i regretted painting the the cab on it last year blue i should have just sanded it smelled and um sanded it again because the black was i should have either repainted the black or else just sanded the little tin and um, mole lines off the body and it would have looked a lot better with the black front cab but looks all right it's up there in the shelf looks all right a year old nearly so <laughs> yeah anyway to the guys that i sent out the last of my shop cards that they're on the way um, and the few guys who have uh, jumped aboard and uh, subscribed to my channel, thanks very much. Anyone I noticed that subscribed to me, I've sub subbed straight back and I've subbed a few other channels as well just because I like that work. There's an awful lot of good builders out there with very like, low number of subs and it surprises me that, that they're as good as they are. And they haven't got as many subscribers as you'd see other people with. So it was like, all those guys that are top class, like Seamus, I'm surprised he hasn't been over a thousand yet. Mike, um, Charlie Mack is over, he's way over his thousand. But he's an awesome builder as well. Jeff, Jim. James Morris, all the, every one of these guys, Russell, Russell is actually close to a thousand, I think, yesterday, you know, I think it was yesterday when I was looking at his last video, he's very close to touching the thousand, so, well done, Russ, so yeah, guys, there's a lot of brilliant channels out there, that are amazing at that work, and that they're, like, only had a couple of hundred subscribers, I know that won't stay like that for long, but um, yeah, I'll probably start doing a few more show outs like I did. It's nice to, as you know, it's nice to be nice to give the channels a show out, even though you know, I don't know them and I've done it before in the past. And I just show it out channels because they had, because Jeff, it's something I picked up off Jeff and Charlie Mac. Um, it's something I picked up off then too, guys. They're very good guys, they're a very big part of the community. Um, I'm happy. I'm gonna finish your build, Pappy, as well, buddy. Don't worry about that. So I'm just spoiler that needs to be mounted on it, and then the interior tub just needs to be painted. That's it. The whole body on the outside, and a few more decals just need to be added. But other than that, it's nearly just ready to go. So, um, if you finished before the group build of the big rig starts and anyway and the egg plane will be finished i'd say i'd finish that in a day or so day or two probably it's just because i have so many on the bench i want to try to do I should, overnight i spent 
a lot of time last night doing the Mustang. It seems that it was for a very good reason. Do you know what I mean? For a good cause. So, yeah, I've done a lot of it last night. done nearly everything last night and then today I just... Now all the clean up and all, I've done all that last night. Um, after the mock up stage, done all the clean up and all. Left it all mocked up, grew up this morning, cemented parts together, and that's it. So, like, it still has to, a lot of the parts still need to be sanded. But I'm gonna wait until it's fully built to sand it so I can do the masking. I have got that two millimeter to me paint, uh, masking pa uh, tape for painting. Great for doing body lines and all. You can see how thin it is. And I think that one is uh, four or f what's that? About six? I don't know what that one is. That was that one. That one was the same roll. You get two of them rolls. What's in this one? Oh, that one's in this case. Yeah, I have to get a few new tapes actually. I haven't got enough tape. I'll get a few tapes. But um, yeah, I have to print off more new cards. Oh, yeah, I am going to do a new shop card next year. For next year. So around Christmas this year. So I'll pick maybe a couple of bills to put on to one card. Tell me best bills that I do this year, maybe, and then um, put them onto a card, and I send that out as well. So the all all my um all skill subscribers, the ones that have been with me from the start, will have my old card that you have now, and you will get the new one too. I still have a lot of uh, envelopes, I know most just haven't changed the dress. Um, a couple have like James, James Tester, and Gary. Gary changed for for his cabin. It's a lovely area he lives in. It's nice, isn't it? He's a big pond, a big lake, and all. It's lovely. So it's nice, uh, he made the right decision there, nice and peaceful. Anyway, lads, sorry for rambling on. I'll chat to you again soon. I know nobody likes to listen to people ramble on for so long. This is 22 minutes. Um, I had got another couple of little figure kits. I just don't know where to put them. I can't even find the 135th scale um, pin-up girls kit that I said I have as well. There. Oh, look. <laughs> I'm about to put me. I just put my hand under the table there on top of the there. Look, barriers and all. <laughs> what else? Are there else on the... oh, I know. I know. I have another one, one or two small figure kit thing. Something to do with these type of master box and ICM and all the mini art. It's something to do with it then. But that's the mail call from last week that I never got round to doing. Um, sorry I left it to this amount of time and I still have another one or two here as I said. I just don't know where they are. See, I have so much stuff. This is My desk is an L shape. I have a drawer there that's full of paints, like cans. And then on the bottom shelf of me, display case behind me on the right, has a lot of spray can bottles as well, but they're all um. They used to be all to me, but when I realised that I was only getting the half amount of paint for the same price as a big big can of um rust -oleum. and it's rust -oleum acrylic, not not rust -oleum, uh, enamel. It's rust -oleum, uh, acrylic spray paints. And other um, automotive primers that are good for plastic, I've been using. So um, yeah, I have all my little bottles of paint there. It's not very neat, but as you can see, there they all are there. Every time you see, look in in this room, you see an empty can of coke. 
I have a bit of a habit where it's um, spitting. I would have to spit a cough of phlegm out my throat. I'll spit it in. I think it's something to do with my breathing of a ha being asthmatic, you know. And anyway, look again. Sorry, I'm rambling. Let's just go, guys. Have a good day. Stay safe. And just keep modeling. Keep your head up. Stay strong. See you all. Have a good day, lads. Keep you. Bye-bye.